Hi. So, uh, back again. Uh, now what I've done is I've started to um, take a little bit of the paint that um, we'd use as our base coat. And what little bit I have left, I'm kind of just dry brushing a little bit of the texture that happened while using the heat gun on the brick. So then it looks more like brick with the dark. And then what we can do is we can try just a little bit of water in the corner there. Just kind of tone it down maybe. And then hit it with the heat tool again. Dry it up. So there, we have uh, somewhat of a base. Um, so, what I think I'm going to do is use this. But first, I'm going to take my palette. paper towel <laughs> and use some crackle paste. And I'm going to make um, a golden color. Use the gold. some yellow stir it up Seems like these items are brand new, but I really, <laughs> I cleaned them up really good and then I, um, put them back in the package, kind of anal, I know, but that's just how I roll. <sighs> I know what brand it is, what I did with it, how big it is, things like that. All the information's right there. This one's kind of hard to see because uh, um, this is such a see-through type stencil and that this is um, such a dark um, canvas right now, but we'll make it work. It'll be alright. I think I want to come right down to the brick if I have enough. That's the thing. Sometimes making more is better. I can scrape that into a little cup and with a lid. I get those at Walmart for know, three bucks for a hundred of them. Better to have too much than run out and go, uh oh. Now am I going to mix the right color? Mm hmm. Maybe. <laughs> if you'd like to. So I'm just going to play with this over and over and over and over. 
And then I'll hit it with the heat tool just a little bit. And we'll get a little bit far back. When it stops being shiny, it's starting to dry. Dulls up a little bit, then you can take your stencil off. I'm going to go wet wipe my stencil. I'll be right back. <laughs> 